Hey guys, so I've got a spring problem here and I've actually already got the work written on the board so I wanna walk you through this very carefully. So I've got a spring with a spring constant, 720 newtons per meter, and that sort of tells you how tough the spring is to compress. And we say it was compressed 0.05 meters by a five kilogram mass. Then the spring was released. How fast is the box going the instant it leaves the spring? So we've got a five kilogram mass and it compresses this spring 0.05 meters and then the spring is released. And then the box obviously is gonna go flying, right? So again, we're assuming uh, that there was no friction on the surface here and we just wanna know how fast this box is going when it's released. So what you have to use here is what's called the conservation of energy principle. So when the box has fully compressed the spring, what sort of energy is stored right here? It's all spring energy, right? There's no motion. We've completely compressed the spring and we've sort of charged up this energy in spring energy. And we know spring energy is one half kx squared, where k is the spring constant and x is the distance the spring was compressed. And then once the spring has been released, the spring has lost all of its charged up energy and it's all been converted into motion energy or kinetic energy. And we know that's represented by one half mv squared. So if we simply uh, conclude that one half kx squared, that energy must have all turned into one half mv squared this energy, then we can solve the problem very easily. So all I did was I set one half kx squared equal to one half mv squared. And the first thing I did was I crossed out the one halves because whenever something appears on both sides of an equal sign, I can cancel it out. I plugged in 720 for my k, 0.05 for my x, and then five for my mass, and I solved for my velocity. So I divided by five on both sides. This canceled out here, and then I was left with v squared equals 0.36. I took the square root of both sides, and I ended up with velocity is 0.6 meters per second. So I hope this helped you guys out. Uh, if you have any questions or you're interested in tutoring, please contact me at facebook.com slash tutoring, and I'll see you guys in the next video.